darlings and welcome back to another episode of A Chronicle of Life. Today I'm very excited to try with you guys the ever famous tic from TikTok, which I don't own or I don't have an account, whatever. I'm not on TikTok, but I've been seeing this on Instagram Reels and it looks so delicious. It's called baked feta pasta and it's supposed to be like this like super easy you just mix a bunch of stuff together put it in the oven take it out mix it up chop up some stuff and put it in there and you're done and it looks so delicious so as a pasta lover as you guys already know and as a quick easy meals kind of girl i have to try it so i'm very excited i think i already said it but guys i'm really excited if it has pasta and it has cheese i'm all in so these are the ingredients that we're gonna use for today. So the main ingredients, as you know by the name baked feta, is a block of feta cheese. Good luck getting one because they're out everywhere. So I got the crumbled up feta and I squished it down into its own container to make a block. We'll see how it goes. It's feta cheese, whatever. Um, cherry tomatoes. These are from H-E-B. Uh, most of this haul was from H-E-B, but I'm using some stuff I have left over from Trader Joe's. You guys know how much I love that place. So. Um, We'll be using that too. You will also need basil, fresh, hopefully. Garlic, I love garlic. I could use a whole a whole thing of garlic in one dish. I don't care, it's so delicious. Bad breath, whatever, I don't care. Pasta, I'm using this pasta that I have left over from Trader Joe's. It's a very clean pasta. All it has is water and uh, flour. It's uh, from imported from Italy to Trader Joe's. You know what, I'm gonna eat this dish and I'm gonna feel like I'm, eat like I'm eating it in Italy and I'm so excited. Um, you guys know my favorite, olive oil. This is my favorite brand. I've uh, linked it on other videos. Also, someone said white wine vinegar adds a really good taste, so I'm trying to get this with my light, but whatever. So white wine vinegar, salt, pepper, <laughs> salt and pepper, and crushed red chili peppers, which I don't have, red chili flakes. Um, so I'm gonna omit that. I don't have anything else that, um, that I could substitute for, but you know, it's still gonna be so yummy. So you guys get all of this together. I am going to uh, show you guys how to put it all together before you put it in the oven. Your oven should be at 400 degrees, preheat it now. And I would also say while your oven is preheating, um, get set some water, you guys see this right here? That's my water, it's boiling for my pasta. Set some water to boil so you can dump your pasta in there whenever you set your dish in the oven. So let's get started and see how this turns out. I hope you're as excited as I am, because guys, I'm starving. I'm ready for this to come out so I can try it. So there you have it. 
Um, I think that was pretty quick. Um, I mean, the time is, it takes a little bit of time to, to make it just because the tomatoes have to cook for a little while in the, or they have to bake in the oven for a little while. But other than just having to mix everything together and toss it in the oven, um, this seems like a really quick and easy um, recipe, especially if you're a beginner cook and maybe you feel like you can mess things up super easy. Um, I feel like as long as you know how to turn on an oven and boil pasta, you're good. Give it a try. So, you guys have seen, um, as always, I have to try this with you guys. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but tomatoes um, in the oven or like sun-dried tomatoes are my favorite. And you guys know I love pasta, so I have to try it. So let's see. Mm. Oh my God. This is amazing, you guys. I cannot believe that it's so easy to make this. Mm. So good. You know what? Someone mentioned. Ooh, look at that stain. Someone mentioned adding or sprinkling a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. I didn't try it um, just because I was really eager to try the, the actual pasta, but you guys give it a try. Sprinkle some stuff on top. Remember, I was also missing the crushed red pepper, uh, but this is perfect just the way it is. Like, I would just, just even have this for, um, for my meal prep for the week because it's so easy to make. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your comments um, below and let me know what you think. And let me know, also you guys, let me know what other stuff you guys want me to try. I'm so excited to try new recipes like this famous TikTok thing. So um, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time on another episode of A Chronicle Life.